Hi again, this is Timothy Sykes, and I am here for another free video lesson. We have more video lessons coming. Stay tuned for the future video lessons. Video lesson number seven is going to be just amazing. It's going to blow your mind, but we have to build up to it. You need to understand the basics first. This is video lesson number four. What is technical analysis? As I discussed in the last video, I love buying breakouts and I love looking for breakdowns. These are chart patterns. Technical analysis refers to chart patterns. And when you have these chart patterns in stocks, they often become self-fulfilling prophecies because all the traders know these patterns. We're looking for a set criteria. And if you look at my students who consistently make money day in, day out, week in, week out, you know, it doesn't matter whether you have $1,000 or $500,000, as I discussed. You know, some of my best students are in college or working full time, and they're still making money on the side, and that's beautiful. But they understand the criteria, and I'll get into the specific criteria in a little bit, but I need you to understand that charts matter. So look at a ton of charts, and there's a lot of free books and cheap books. Go to your local library and, you know, do a search for technical analysis. There's tons of books about learning these chart patterns. I like to focus on simple ones. So, you know, learn them if you want, but you, you don't have to study as hard as, as you might think you do. Why do technicals matter? The answer is because traders care about them. Investors care about these charts. Because if you look at, you know, any stock over a year, over five years, over 10 years, you know, there are key indicators. And when there's a breakout, when a stock hits a new high, that it hasn't been able to cross over, it's like a new threshold, it's often an indicator that the stock is going to keep going. Okay? And because that's an indicator that the stock is going to keep going, traders recognize this. And when traders recognize this, let's say you have a thousand or five thousand traders looking for one specific price, and if that price breaks up or down, whether it's a breakout or breakdown, those traders are going to jump on. And that's predictable. So understand these key breakout and breakdown points as I discussed. But what is fundamental analysis? I don't just look at charts. You know, my, my strategy is, is very well refined. Remember, I've been teaching for over a decade. So I'm not like some new beginner who's like, oh, I think this works. <laughs> I've seen exactly what works and what doesn't over the years. And you need to combine fundamental analysis with technical analysis. And fundamental analysis is basically just analyzing how healthy a company is. What are the sales? What's their cash? What's their revenue like? What's their profits like? And, you know, since I trade penny stocks, usually the fundamentals aren't very good. So you can just say, oh, the fundamentals aren't very good. Okay, simple. Well, you know, there are specific things that you can look at. So, you know, I'll go into this in a little bit with some examples, but understand that you need to dig into the fundamentals. And there's lots of free websites right on Yahoo Finance. You can look at a balance sheet. And, you know, you don't need to be an accounting major to see when a company has zero cash, guess what? The fundamentals aren't that good. And so why do fundamentals matter? Yes, you have a lot of traders and investors who use momentum and these stocks move up or down based on, you know, these traders. But fundamentals matter because you have to know how good the company is. If you're betting against a company for a day or a week or an hour, you should know, is this company fundamentally sound? You know, if this company is making the next, I don't know what a hot toy company is, like, you know, if, if they're making the next Elmo doll, I remember Elmo was a hot doll a few years ago, you don't want to bet against it because, you know, that product is very good. So you need to examine just how good these products are. And, you know, you don't need to be like a technology guru. Keep it very simple, as you'll see in a little bit. So let's get to some examples. I'm, I'm tired of saying, oh, I'll show you some examples in a little bit. Let's get to them. So here is the ticker symbol DROP, DROP, a company called Fuse Sciences. And this is, you know, a, a chart of the past few weeks. And you can see here, I drew a nice blue line in the center. It couldn't break 50 cents, 52 cents to be exact, for quite a few weeks. Each one of these little ticks on the chart represents a day. And it couldn't break it. And then you can see right here, on December 9th, it broke it and went up to 75 cents, and two days later is $1.25. So you would have nearly tripled your money in three days when it broke out. This is a breakout. And the beautiful thing is that when it came back down, it held 52 cents pretty well. And so I actually made money shorting it, betting against it when it got too overextended here in the ones, and then I bought it on the dip because I thought that it would bounce. And it bounced a little bit. It didn't bounce huge. But there's money to be made on both sides. And this company has terrible fundamentals. You know, they have no revenue, very little cash, but they have Tiger Woods endorsing the product. 
So people are like, oh, Tiger Woods, why would he get involved with a penny stock? Well, so it's it's not a clear-cut picture, and sometimes it is. You know, with some other examples, I'll show you these companies are terrible. Drop, we don't know if their product is good or not, right? You know, they're just introducing it right now. They have Tiger Woods who says it's good, but they have no money, they have no revenues, and the company is valued at roughly $50 million. So I use technical analysis. You know, fundamental analysis didn't work in this case. And sometimes, you know, I'll look at the fundamentals and technicals and I'll decide what, what do I think actually matters. You know, when you have terrible fundamentals, meaning no sales, no cash, and, you know, you're not sure of anything, that's okay. But the technicals matter because you can see here that it was a clear breakout and when it came down, it held that same level and it bounced a little bit. So my students and I, here's my, my first uh, short, I bet against it, right around 93 cents, I covered at 84 cents. So I made like 10% in a day, $1,600. Not bad, nothing, nothing huge, but not bad. Here is uh, one of my students. This guy is just out of college. He looks like a young John Stewart. He made $1,200 and he only invested $10,000 in a day. That's pretty sweet, you know, making 13% in a day. I mean, this is, this is not rocket science here. And you basically just bet against it when it got too high. Because again, when you're not sure about the fundamentals, other people aren't sure about the fundamentals. No one here is smart trading penny stocks. Okay, if any of us were smart, we'd be running billion dollar hedge funds. These are just people who are just guessing. Oh, Tiger Woods is invested in this company. Let me buy in. Well, that's fine. But when a stock triples in three days, it's probably gotten ahead of itself. So we bet against it and we profited. Um, but I, you know, again, with that blue line, because I thought that, okay, since the fundamentals aren't a clear cut picture, that means that when it drops too quickly, some people are going to say, you know what, this is a good dip buy. Tiger Woods is still promoting this. So I bought it at 54 cents, and the next day I sold it at 62 cents when they were introducing one of their products. You know, I made $3,400 in a day. That's awesome. And it didn't bounce as much as I wanted, but it was a pretty decent bounce. And here's, you know, this is, this is my guy, Bob Garrett. Right? He's one of my students, and he tried to do the same bounce. He didn't have that great of a, an entry price at $0.58, cents, so the next day he sold at 60 He made a quick 500 bucks, making $500 in a day when you know, you're not sure. He said, tired of price action, so I got out. You know, he was tired, <laughs> and he made $500. That's awesome. So sometimes it's going to be a little confusing like this. I wanted to show you this example. You know, this isn't Candyland. There's not unicorns and, and little elves all, the, all over the place. Um, sometimes, you know, it is going to be a little confusing. But you can still profit if you focus on basic technicals, which is, you know, breakouts and breakdowns. But here's an easier one. Here's SPAH. And each one of these ticks represents a day. It went from $0.10 cents to $0.80 cents in four days. And now it's back down to $0.20 cents in roughly a week later. And you can see the volume was huge. This company sent out tons and tons of email propaganda saying, oh, this is so good. There's no technical analysis involved here. It's just when a company goes up eight times, eight times your money in four days, you do some research. This company is not good. Not good at all. They have no cash. They have no revenues. They're in debt up to their eyeballs. And whoever paid, you know, the rumors are six hundred to seven hundred fifty thousand dollars for this email campaign. They just wanted to sell out. This is a pump and dump. So knowing that, I started betting against it. I started betting against it at seventy-five cents, and I covered my short at fifty-five cents. I made twenty-seven hundred dollars in less than an hour, and I got greedy. You know, like I made so much in an hour, I probably should have held because I knew the company was worthless. Remember, the stock came all the way back down. So I should have held, but making $2,700 in an hour is, is pretty, pretty great. I also reshorted, um, so I bet it against it again. You know, I'm, I, I take my profits, but I, I keep coming back in because when I did my fundamental research, looking at the revenues, looking at their debt, and looking at the lack of cash, you know, I, I, I couldn't help but bet against it even more because even at 50 cents, I thought the stock was worthless. But again, I got weak and I covered at 41 cents, I made $3,800 in a day. I get weak making a few thousand dollars. I can't help it. Here's a, my latest short. I, I shorted at 44 and covered at 33, and I made another 3,700. So I'm making thousands. I'm making over 10,000 dollars on this. Here's one of my students, Alexander Bevo, Captain Puker. He's still in college, and he made 4,000 dollars. And he apparently he's traveling. I guess for the holidays, trading and traveling is fun. 
So he's traveling and he made $4,000 in less than a week. Here's another guy, he says Tim Sykes' method rules, even with buy-ins, this was a nice win. And this is one of the risks. When you're shorting, you're actually borrowing from your broker. So you're taking out a loan to short. And you know that broker can call in the, the loan. And you know that happens. But in a week, this guy still made $1,000. So he loves it. He's loving life. And here's you know young John Stewart again made $3,700, made 26% in a week. Again, remember, mutual funds, long-term investments, you ask your financial advisor, and he'll say, you know, is 26% a good return in a year? And he'll say, yes, that's amazing. How do you make 26% in a year? Well, I'm teaching you how to make 26% in a week. <laughs> so it's a whole different ball game. This guy did not invest that much money, and he made $3,700. Here's one more example. This is ticker symbol R-A-Y-S, Raystream. This is another you know kind of pump and dump where the stock goes up from 1 to 250 because of all these emails being sent then it collapses in one day more emails are getting sent it comes up and it collapses again and then more emails and guess what it's probably going to come back down but there's support at one dollar a share only one day did it drop below a dollar a share so you have to understand like Yes, all of these companies are fundamentally worthless. If you dig into this company, you know, they have no cash, they have no product. It's the same type of fundamental analysis with everything. But you also have to combine that with technical analysis and realize, yes, even though it's worthless, it's bounced off $1 share once and twice. So you got to take profits if you're going to bet against it. And guess what? You can even buy it on the dip because you, we know that a dollar a share is fundamentally important and technically important. So here's my one of my um, shorts. You know, I, I shorted this at, at 118, um, and I covered at 108 because again, remember, I know that a dollar a share matters. So even though I'm betting against it as it's coming down because the pattern was perfect, it's straight out of my DVDs, namely Penny Stocking Part Two. I had to cover and take profit, so I made thirteen hundred dollars um, pretty much in in a few days. Uh, this guy Elkwood, awesome. He held for a week, and he held from nearly two down to 122. Because again, he took profits because he realized that at a dollar a share, there's probably going to be some support. He made sixteen thousand dollars in a week. This is awesome. This guy is up over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in 2011 alone, and he had never traded much before. Okay, and now he's making a quarter of a million. He's one of my best students, and he plays golf all the time, and he loves to drink. I hope you guys meet him. I, I throw a conference every year in uh, in Vegas, and he comes, and you know he's just bombed out of his mind. But he's loving life because he's making a quarter of a million a year playing golf and drinking. That's a pretty good life. Uh, here's another one of these guys. You know, he basically he he risked it. He was in he was shorting that one day where you know it was at 118 and it looked like it was going to keep fading and remember a dollar a share was support but sometimes it goes a little below he covered at 94 cents you know technical analysis is not perfect okay it's a good guide to saying okay here's support and this is a level that it, it might not break out or break down at but it's not 100 percent perfect my strategy isn't 100 percent perfect it's just a guide but this guy still made you know fifteen hundred dollars in three days Here's another guy who made fourteen hundred and in he held for two weeks and he had a very small position. I mean he made forty percent. We're talking this guy invested less than four thousand dollars and he's making fourteen hundred dollars and he held for two weeks because he he realized, you know what? Let me do the research on this company. The stock is up because of mailers. There's no revenues, there's no cash. Again, there's nothing behind it. The fundamentals are bad. But he respected the one dollar a share support. So he made forty percent on his money awesome awesome trade and here's just another another example from uh, Alexander Bevo I call him Captain Puker again because he can't drink um, if you ever tried drinking with him don't <laughs> don't give him many drinks I think he can handle like two or three but he's still in college he's young and he made five hundred dollars in a day and this is when he he went the other way you can see he went long the stock even though we think that the company is worthless that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to bet against it all the time Remember, my strategy, I made a million dollars buying companies, and all of them turned out to be worthless. Not one of the companies when I first started in 1999 or 2000 ever made it. Most of them are out of business or their stock dropped 90%. But there is a time to buy, and he realized that, guess what? A dollar a share is support because he understands technical analysis. He understands my criteria. He has all my DVDs. He's in my trading challenge. So he bought and he sold the same day, just a small position, but he made $500. That's awesome. 
So stay tuned for my next video. These are just a few examples. You know, we have a lot to go over, but now you understand why technical analysis and fundamental analysis works. Next video, wait till you see how these people are making full-time livings off just trading part-time. That is the dream. See you soon.